Yeah, that's fun. Bro, you can't tell me I'm good right. and then say you suck. Yeah, you are good. Yeah, <laughs> you can't, you can't like, do that. Bro, bro. You can't do that, it's just not allowed. Yeah, yeah. Why so? Alright, man. Thank you, mean this game or the whole tournament? Three, two, Either way, I couldn't agree one, less. <laughs> I would describe it um, less as cool and more as funny. I think it would be very funny. Because this this seems like one of those matchups where it's like... There's a few matchups where there's like a couple facets of the game where Kero wins. You know what I mean? Off stage he can gim pretty easily. He can like zone out in neutral decently. He can kind of mash on some characters. He can recover um, uh, on a lot of characters. But I feel like the only thing he can do is gim. And Tony is pretty good at recovering. So, we will see though. Tony might have a roughish time dealing with projectiles. I know a lot of very good characters can sometimes be uh, um, struggling against Crown. The late hit to that neutral is going to hit him. That Crown armor is kind of nasty. Kind of nasty. This guy's called me a loser in chat. I love you though. <laughs> huh? What do you mean, like, his worst character? I feel like high tiers. <laughs> like, I feel like he's a low tier man at heart. Yeah, yeah, but I, like, uh, like, like Peach. Like, there's no way he has a Peach. You know? What do you think? Sonic, yeah. Chat, what do you think T Day's worst matchup is? You said he's impressively bad at. It's like ZSS or something. A random ditto. <laughs> oh, me sword fighter. Fire pick. Definitely me sword fighter. Who the fuck plays me sword fighter? Yeah, yeah, low key T might have a Wii sword fighter. It's a low tier T has got it. Ooh, Kobo can get that back there. Almost had a good setup though. That's, that's what I was uh, talking about earlier. A lot of really good players don't know how to properly avoid a uh, returning crown. What a great recovery there from Tony. The side beat to uh, hang off a ledge. Just that little bit of extra time to avoid Copa's punish. Kirill has quite a few options to cover um, uh, most of Tony's recoveries. So Tony uh, does have to mix it up effectively despite having the uh, big character advantage around this. Ooh. Sucked him from behind. Hello. Limit on deck, but that forward air is going to catch it. Good little reef uh, there from Copal. Going to catch that uh, up B up top. We got these forward airs up close. Tony's so trying to space it out. Get some movement on deck. Might not even need to close out this game. It was real heavy though. It's not super easy to take stocks off him. Because the backer off stage this is exactly what Copal needed. He got a jump read. That could have been dangerous, but Tony um, surviving nonetheless. It's not back here. Wait a minute, neutral B, now limits on deck. Copal's gonna have a hard time getting back from ledge. 20 waste limits, so it's gonna be hard for Copal regardless. Back air just flicks him right back out there. Reset the scenario. Just jumping around at roll distance, that's so threatening. It's so hard to get through that. Forward air sends Copal out. Good for Tony. For the show. Ooh, that neutral is gonna connect, and that's gonna take the stock around 200% for Copi. Yeah, my cloud definitely wasn't close to <laughs> When I saw Tony get back air, or, uh, I get back thrown, I'm thinking, you know what? <laughs> this shit is. <laughs> this shit might happen. Yeah, that makes sense, Zinkus. That makes sense. I feel like it's it's like not exactly uh, worth the risk for Cloud. Because, like, Bear is insanely free off stage, but it's also insanely free on stage out of ledge guard situations. <laughs> so I definitely understand the, uh, the mentality for Copal of, like, not jumping off stage. Because Cloud is so strong on stage, you can you never know what could happen in terms of like a goofy reversal or something. Nice little back air off the platform. 
Damn, this is where Tony locks in, man. He's got that down low. Copa's having a hard time getting connections in. The falling air gets a touch, but I'd be out of shield. Another back air. Just uh, dominant, just cloud sticking to his game plan. This is what happens. 146, Copa stuck in the corner. Tony can afford to dash back a little bit here. He's up by a whole lot. He doesn't exactly need the uh, oppressive stage presence. Wait a minute, maybe he did. Copa finds a reversal. Back air takes a super early stock, and that's it. that is Copa's win condition here. He needs like one, maybe two of those a game if he wants to win. But it's not exactly impossible for Copa to find those. He's uh, made a career finding those. Yeah, Hawk, that's a good question. I was, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. That's a very uh, um, blunt way of putting what I just said. Where it's like, Copa has such a, or uh, K. Rool actually has such a hard time in this matchup. Again though, that back to off stage is scary for Tony. Far from easy. Yo, if Boku DQs, let me take a spot. Let me play for I got that shit. Who's he playing next? Yo, take Boku spot? No, no, then who's he yelling? Not me. Yeah. Kitty TOs. I, uh. <laughs> yeah, no, no. UTO, Ushio plays, Boku commentates, and I leave. <laughs> Why? Oh, because you're gonna win. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, see, Zinkus, I think that, uh. But what'd you place last week? Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. What just happened? What did Copa just do? Copa's committing one crack. I like that chat. What happened? <laughs> Copa wants to cheese him so bad. Let's go for that neutral B off stage. And again, I mean, that's what Cameron has to do. Hawk was talking in the chat about what is uh, what do you do to beat Clouds Button? You cheese. Was he like double buffed? That's insane. Yeah, 69 is nuts. <laughs> uh, oh, there's that runoff stage that Zinkus was asking for in the chat earlier. That side B. That side B off stage is pretty free with him. 53. Which side are you go to? Which side are you go to? Blake's is fine. Blake's is so good. Chat, what's your favorite side of it? I'm an interactive streamer now. What's your favorite Cyber Moon? I like Blake's. Blake's is fire. If you don't fuck with Cyber Moon, shoot. Joking. I love everything. Ooh, wait a minute. That's not gonna kill though. Carol too fat. That counter at the ledge. Yeah, that counter. That, that counter makes sense from Carol in this matchup. There's not much else you can do to um, relent Cloud's pressure. Forces the air. I'd like to stage. Makes the bat. What's up, brother? Did you win? You did? Are you still sad? Yeah. Oh man. Bro, wait a minute, how do you break a shield? Ooh. Lions <laughs> <laughs> are playing right now? Yeah. Who? Raiders. Raiders? Yeah, okay. right now Raiders are really four or five or two. They better win that shit. Yeah, yeah, I do real nice. What'd you say it was? You said it was 1916? Yeah, we're off five field though. 1416? Okay, good. You're still thinking about that? Why is it gonna haunt you? You're gonna win bracket anyways. 
upset. I'm gonna win, don't matter. Why are you sad? You're bragging, you get to play Smash Bros. I was gonna play and it's fun. I was gonna... And you get to have fun. I was gonna... And it's a good time. Now think about was. Think about going to. I am going to play. I'm going to be wondrous and exuberant. <laughs> Finishing yeah, touchdown. Good W. He would have. Yeah, yeah that sucks. That sucks. Had, like, some pretty high rage. You had. Yeah. yeah. I think I got back here. You got. Yeah, dude. You will. I'm so <laughs> sad, bro. <laughs> Don't be sad, bro. So sad, bro. You're in bracket. You get to play in bracket. Hawk is wow. gassing you up in chat.